Just a brief background about myself, I'm a qualified architect, I've been working for a good number of years and probably most recently before I started ArcDocs, I was uh, working at senior level in a large architectural practice in Dublin and you know, in charge of a number of big development projects. And it's really in that role that I started to appreciate how inefficient our way of working was and started to investigate BIM. Well, I suppose the recession was a wake-up call for us and we realised we had to focus on finding a better way of working if we were to continue to provide a good service. And we started ArcDocs as a company with the express purpose of getting into building information modelling and offering this back to the industry as, as a service. In the short time I have available, I want to cover what BIM is, um, why we believe our industry needs this, where we see BIM going in the future based on some research in other markets, and finally, how we can work together in the industry to maximize the benefits of BIM and provide back you know, the, a service to the industry that is competitive in the global market. So there's a lot of definitions about BIM. There's just one I've put up which I feel really captures the essence. and. There's a few key concepts coming out of that definition. Firstly, uh, BIM is a process. It's not a, a CAD package or anything else. It's a, a new way of doing things. And the process involves the production of reliable and coordinated construction documentation from a virtual 3D model of a building project. As an architect, for me, um, one of the key points is that all the desi design decisions and information about a building are being recorded in a single database and in fact it's this information or data element of the process that is more beneficial in the long term you know, compared to the 3D modeling or visualization aspects but obviously the, the 3D pretty pictures give the most immediate impression. The ability for project team members to access the same database of vital information is the aspect that's going to drive project procurement in the future in my opinion. The biggest mindset to establish is that BIM is not just another CAD application or drawing process. I mean, essentially CAD is involved in drawing lines and there's no inherent intelligence in those lines other than the representation that the draftsperson intended. And B BIM is object-based 3D modeling and it involves capturing all sorts of useful data about a building project in the process of assembling the 3D model. Traditional 2D printed drawings that we still need are just one byproduct of the BIM process. For many consultants and contractors, the production of documentation has become increasingly time consuming and is responsible for the majority of the overheads in our businesses. The current systems result in multiple independent documents created by various project members in different software packages. The lack of coordination or communication between these documents requires excessive labour in checking, rechecking, cross-referencing, editing and even managing the design changes. And this way of doing things is prone to error and exposes us to um, costly mistakes. Now, BIM directly addresses these inadequacies of the, of the current systems. With all the information required for a building project being generated and managed within a single application and all the documentation outputs being generated from this single source of information. By embracing new technologies such as BIM, we have replaced traditional cumbersome working practices for a model that performs much more efficiently, delivers more valuable information, and most importantly, significantly cuts costs. And how the process works in practice, a virtual 3D model of a design is assembled from intelligent building components, each with embedded information about their function, material, size, finish, etc., recorded within a powerful database. As you develop your project through the different design stages, you continue to add more levels of information to the same model, ensuring that the original design intent is carried through each stage of the project. All the 2D drawings and schedules, specifications, even 3D visualization normally required to communicate a design are produced directly from the single BIM model, ensuring fully consistent and reliable building information at all times. This improves the quality of documentation, eliminates errors and omissions, and significantly reduces our production costs and project times. There are many benefits, and you could talk for the whole morning about BIM versus other production systems. But for me, having spent most of my career checking and rechecking thousands of drawings, trying to ensure that they're all coordinated and properly cross-referenced 
and then still having to sort out a myriad of problems on site because of errors that were overlooked. The key benefit for me is that when you make a change anywhere in the project in BIM, that change is automatically replicated in all the documentation. And BIM works the way we think. We, we explore the, the design in 3D and there are many other added benefits like being able to automatically provide rendered 3D images to clients or shadow studies, animated walkthroughs of projects or parts of projects, analytical design data such as areas and volumes and quantities of materials all coming directly out of this valuable source of information. And the key thing is you, you can extract this at any point in the design process. You don't have to wait till you get to a stage and then do the analysis. This communicates a much clearer understanding of the ideas to clients, consultants and contractors for better decision making and easier collaboration. Why do I think the construction industry needs BIM? Well, I found this article in The Economist in 2000 which stated that 30% of the construction cost can be attributed to waste. I mean, that's a staggering figure for any industry. And while I can't find any empirical data for the Irish construction industry, based on my own experience of projects in this country and the efficiencies of producing construction documentation, but also the amount of rework on site and wasted materials and labor due to errors in documentation or ordering and delivery schedules, and even the costs involved in coordinating works on site and administering RFIs. I can only assume that the, the percentage is pretty similar for our industry. Even on the government's planned 6.4 billion capital expenditure program for this year, that means about 1.9 billion euros is being attributed to waste in our industry. So if as an industry and as partners we can improve on our working procedures and reduce this percentage, it would mean more money available for more projects and like other industries, we need to do something about the way we operate and I believe BIM will have an enormous impact. As an industry, we really need to look at what's happening and intelligently address the realities of what's occurring in our market and the pressure to compete in a global economy. Simply cutting overheads, reducing fees and profit margins without a corresponding and fundamental change in the way we work is not going to be sustainable in the long term. We need to find new and more effective ways of working and this will be key to our short-term survival and long-term profitability. I mean BIM is happening, this is not something new, I mean it's been developing over 20 years but it's really coming to its own in the last five years and with BIM software products now being offered by most of the major design software suppliers. The global trend to working in BIM is clearly evident in the latest McGraw-Hill construction market survey which shows that at least 50% of the industry in North America are now using BIM tools and um, that's a 75% increase since their last survey in 2007. The biggest increase which is very interesting is amongst owners and contractors about 300 to 400%. Many of the larger design build contractors, clients and government bodies in the US are now insisting that projects be carried out in BIM and a similar trend is occurring in other markets. Integrated project delivery or IPD as it's known is where the industry is going with BIM. The benefits of fully coordinated collaboration between all project stakeholders using the same BIM project information for design, analysis, construction and even facilities management is already being recognized by clients and contractors who are now driving the global agenda for integrated project delivery. BIM offers many exciting prospects of easily resolving coordination issues between the disciplines leading to more efficient and innovative project procurement routes. I've listed some of the more interesting spin-off benefits that will become possible when project teams begin to collaborate in a more integrated way using BIM. Overall, the design and construction process should work far more efficiently with all the major decisions being made and coordination issues resolved before a project even gets to site. I haven't managed to find any recorded data in the UK or Ireland showing you know, an actual return on investment in carrying out a project in BIM. But I found this very in interesting study from the US where two very similar projects constructed on the same campus. One was carried out in the traditional construction model and the other using BIM. In this instance, the contractor actually un undertook to produce and manage the BIM model based on the design information provided by the consultants. And even after all their investment into hardware, BIM software, 
training and labor, they still achieved a $1.1 million saving on the project and reduced their, their construction program by six weeks. I mean, for, for the contract that this represented a 0.5% additional profit on the project and almost 400% return on investment on the money spent on BIM implementation. It's very exciting and I think what we really need to get to is the point in this country where we, we're getting this kind of data being recorded and reported. The willingness of industry partners to embrace and collaborate on projects using BIM will create new opportunities and a new future for our industry. The reality is we are a small market and for the most part large inefficient organizations have proved to be unsustainable in our fluctuating economy. Uh, what we need is to see smaller specialist companies coming together in synergistic ways that can still provide a critical mass to, to resource big projects. Like other industries, we need to start outsourcing elements of work to specialists who are more effective at what they do and controlling the costs and the output. And BIM software facilitates outsourcing. It resolves most of the error checking and coordination issues that traditionally required all design and production staff to work in the same building. And by using remote working capabilities of modern internet technology, smaller and more efficient groups can now easily collaborate on bigger projects using BIM. With BIM, the production of logical elements or components of a project can easily be carried out in isolation of the overall project and then reassembled into an overall centrally managed BIM model. There are potential benefits to all parties in collaborating on projects using BIM. And obviously there will be some teething problems and some obvious challenges to overcome. But the important thing is that we don't use these challenges as an excuse not to change, but we embrace the process and come through having learned the lessons. On the other side is a far more effective way of working that will distinguish those who, who embrace this change from the rest of the market. And I, I wanted to end with a challenge to the group here this morning. After all, this is a network set up with the express purpose of embracing developments in IT and furthering the construction industry. And we should be showing everybody else how this is done and challenging both public and private sectors not to operate at the lowest common level, but to start demanding more effective working procedures and better value outputs when they are presenting projects for tender. So let's not be all talk and no action. For our own part, we are very keen to be involved with other members of this group to explore, test, develop, integrated project delivery using BIM. Thank you very much.